Now you probably see the video title and you see the video thumbnail and you have a lot of questions. I'm going to answer those, but before we do that, I'm going to make a quick channel update TLDR of what this video is going to be about because if you can't tell already, it's going to be a more of a serious video. And the last thing I want to do is to ruin somebody's day or to make someone feel like crap because they had to hear a whole long video essay about how my life isn't going that great right now simply just to know what's going on on my YouTube channel. I don't consider that to be fair whatsoever, so I'm just going to make a quick little thing just so people can understand what's going on and then leave. So, why I don't upload that often comes down to a very simple, not simple answer. One is simply because of my stress, and two is because I have a hard time scripting videos. And the plans to finish up 2018 the, answering the second question, I have one goal in mind. Back, I think, as early as April of 2018, I've been wanting to make a video called The Legacy of Glenwood Prep, which in basic form is just a humongous review of all four seasons of Glenwood. And what I want to do is I want to try to finish that before 2018 ends. I can't promise it, but that's what I want to do. And that's really about it for the TLDR. Now let's get into the more of the meat of the video, I guess. So if you are probably wondering more, like if you're staying, sticking along, you're probably wondering a little bit more, okay, why don't I upload all that often? And when you think about it, I should be uploading more often because the type of video I make really doesn't take all that much work, I guess, when you think about it. I mean, not as much as say like your Minecraft SMP, it takes a little bit more work than that, but I guess in like the grand scheme of things, it's not animation, it's not a role play or anything like that, it's just giving your criticism on the internet. So you would think I'd be able to at least upload a video once a month, but unfortunately it's not that simple for me. For any average person, it would be that simple. Just watch whatever you want to criticize or review or give your opinion on, write your thoughts on a Google Docs, read it off into a microphone, put it into the editing program of your choice and just move on. It's not that simple for me. And the reason why it's not comes down to the fact that when I when I do finally get to sit down and make a video, when I finally have the time to be able to do it, unfortunately, with the, my life being the way it is right now, it's not good to do it. And what I mean by that is, I think the last thing you want to do when giving criticism on the internet and when you're writing a script, the last thing you want to be is pissed off. The last thing you want to be is angry. The last thing you want to be is sad, upset, and depressed. That's like the worst thing you want to do because it affects your script writing. And I've definitely seen that firsthand because when I've been in a bad mood and said, I'm just going to script anyway, I do it and then you read it and it's just, it's so bad because it's just angry and vitriolic and you just, you sound like a fucking douche. And there, and I don't really want to try to do that even though a lot of people are going to be like, oh, I'm a little too late for that PJ, look at your last video. But what I, I don't, what I don't want to do is I don't want to make a video that's just some random dude being pissed off about something. What I want to try to do with my channel is I want to try to make it to where there's some sort of improvement. That's, if somebody can see this video and they say, oh, I can help, my, my content can change this way, or oh, my, I reviewed this roleplay and I could make it better this way, or maybe when I give out an opinion, they make them think differently about it. And that's what I want to do with my channel, and that's what I want to do with the videos that I make. And when you're in a bad mood, that doesn't happen because you get you forget the constructive criticism part, and all you do is you're just angry about stuff. You just complain about things, but you don't give a reason to fix those problems, and you don't give a reason... Well, basically, you you're just a bitch. That's what you, you what you are when you make a video like that. Because all you're doing is just complaining, and nobody gets anything out of that. Yeah, it might feel good to complain about shit. I mean, we've all seen my Twitter account before, right? But it, that doesn't help anybody. That's never helped anybody, and I don't want to do that on my channel. And unfortunately, I'm in that state of mind too often, especially ever since I graduated from high school that my state of mind has always been mad, angry, depressed, sad, and yeah, I'm going to say it, suicidal. I, I, it's gotten to that point to where I can't sit down and script a video because I'm just in a bad mood too often. And, it, and that's what it comes down to. And yeah, there, there's also the problem that comes into scripting my videos to where I'm tippy tapping on the keyboard, I read something, and I hate what I wrote so much, even when I'm in a good mood, bad mood doesn't matter, that I end up deleting it because I hate it, and then I restart, and then I just 
I hate it. And then I restart on it, but then I hate it again and I delete that one. Or I'm scripting and I delete a bunch of lines and then it gets to the point where I say, you know what, fuck it, I don't want to make this video anymore because I'm sick and tired of going in this humongous ass fucking loop over and over and over again. So I just end up throwing it away. And that's why you guys have seen plenty of times that I say, oh, I want to make a video about this or I want to make a video about that on my Twitter all the goddamn time, but I never pull through with it because it's either A, I'm in such a bad mood that I scripting is just out of the question, or when I do finally get to scripting the video, it sucks, at least in my eyes, so I delete it. And people will probably sit here and say, okay, PJ, the answer to that question is simple. Just power through it, okay? You just have to power through it. You have to grow up. You have to grow a pair of balls. You just have to fix, you just have to do it, you know? If you want to make a YouTube, so you want to make something out of yourself, you just got to do it. And you know what? I thought about that one time. I did. I genuinely thought about that. I was like, you know what? I'm going to script a video. And I'm just, I'm only going to check it one time. I gave myself one time. I'm not going to delete the script. I'm not going to do any of that stuff. I'm just going to script that video and whatever I make, I'm going to check it one time and whatever I make, I upload it to my YouTube channel. I did that. That was my most recent video. And if you couldn't tell, it fucking went terribly. I got so much shit for that fucking video, and I rightfully did, right? I'm not sitting here saying that all these people who are mad at me for what I did in that video are wrong, because they're correct for doing it. They're correct for feeling mad about what I did in that video, and they have every right to be because I fucked up. They have every right to be mad at me for it, but it gets to that point to where it's like, okay, if I don't double check myself, I'm gonna make a lot of, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna I run the risk of making a bad mistake. If I, if I check it too often, it's just going to make it to where I'm not happy with the video and it gets deleted. And it, it, again, it's just a the vicious scripting cycle of over and over and over if I type something and I'm just not satisfied with how it turns out. And it, it, it makes it to where I can't upload videos because obviously I need a script to do my job. I mean, right now, this isn't scripted. I'm just recording in front of an Audacity screen right now. And that's all I'm doing. And I'm, I don't have a script of this video. And you can tell why I script my videos because I... I'm terrible at commentary. I say um and I skip over a lot and it's just, it's bad commentary and I can't record and I can't make a serious review on a roleplay if I don't script. So it comes down to that point to where I'm just in this situation to where I can't seem to be able to script a video. I can't, no matter how hard I try. And like I said before, with other stuff in my life that's been going on, which I don't even know if I'm going to get into or not, it makes it so hard. I want to make a video but it's easier to just say, fuck it, I'm gonna play Overwatch, I'm gonna play Call of Duty, I'm gonna play Fort, I'm gonna play whatever, because it's, it helps take the stress level down of what's been going on in my life, and it, it's just easier. But then I'm not making YouTube videos, but I want to, and, and again, like I said before, and I'm gonna probably say a million times, that huge fucking cycle over and over and over again to where I'm just circling I'm, I'm, I'm in circles i want to make a video but i can't so i don't but then i want to make a video but i, I can't and i don't it, it, it circles and people will probably easily just say pj suck it up just you know make videos like yeah make a few mistakes every once in a while don't you don't don't worry about it just make the video don't worry about it and it's not that easy it's not easy to just say, you know what, I'm going to say, fuck all these problems that I've been having with my scripting, I'm just going to do it anyway. I don't want to do that, like I said before, because it makes the quality of my videos go even lower than, let's be honest, what they already are. Most of the videos that I make are shitty memes, or <laughs> or they're just video essays. That, that, that doesn't necessarily take all that fucking much work. <laughs> but... For whatever reason, I have this weird sense of quality control in my head that I will not go stoop down to a level of content that I deem as being quote unquote lazy. I don't, and it it comes, and it comes into that situation, and it's just a big, and it's just a big circle, and I don't really have any other way of describing it, and it's just this cycle of just crap. And it, it sucks. I want to make a video, but it's not easy. <laughs> you know, and I'm probably way overcomplicating it. I'm way overthinking it. But I'm going to be honest with you. The last the last thing I want to do is remake Want to Get Paid, Move It All Over Again. The last thing I want to do is fuck up on that level again. I don't want to do it. I, I just don't. Because the last thing I want to have happen is well, what happened in that situation. 
because not only, well, I mean, the video itself wasn't that bad, but when you get to the end part of that video where I just threw um, Walker's um, tweets at the end of the video, it sucked. It was bad. It pretty much belittled every single thing I had to say because I made one mistake. And I can't make those mistakes anymore because people in the Minecraft community don't like to listen to you anyway. So why the fuck would I want to not overcheck my videos like crazy and keep doing that thing over and over and over again, keep checking the videos over and over and over again? Why would I not want to do that? Because if I don't, I'm going to get shit for it again. I'm going to make a humongous mistake and I'm going to get myself into some shit again. And it will just completely belittle my point, so I have to check it over and over and over again. But especially with all the shit that's been going recently on in my life, it just makes it hard to sit down and script a video. I mean, I was genuinely thinking about scripting this, what I'm doing right now, but I said no, because it'll never get done. I know it won't get done, because if I try to script the video, it will not get done. And I already... And I kind of wish I am. I did script it at the same time because you hear my commentary and it's all over the place. I stutter all over myself. I skip my words. I forget things. I, I see myself doing it right now. Hell, I did that. Like, I even counted 10 or 11 times before I tried making this video and I screwed up and I said, you know what? I'm restarting it. I didn't like it. I'm doing it again. It's what I've been doing with my scripts. And it's been the same continuous fucking cycle over and over and over again. And it comes down to the fact that I just don't want to fuck up. Because if I fuck up, I'm in trouble. And it, it doesn't, it's not easy, you know? And, like, it's been especially hard, because like I said, with the legacy of Glenwood Prep, I've been trying to make that video. And there's a reason why that video's been held off since April. Because I've been watching and scripting that video ever since I, uh, ever since I said I wanted it to come out. But it hasn't come out for the same reason, and it really sucks because this is a longer style of video. And since it's a longer style of video, I get to X amount of places towards it, either a quarter way, halfway, third of the way, whatever it is, and I delete it. And I delete pages upon pages of work. And it sucks. It really does suck. Because it, because it gets to the point where it's like, I don't want to make this anymore. But I do, you know? It's weird because I don't want to make it anymore. But I really do want to make it because Glenwood's a really good roleplay. If you couldn't, if you haven't already seen it for whatever reason, it's really good. It's like the diamond in the rough of the Minecraft community. Because let's be honest, a lot of videos on the Minecraft community in general, they're not good. So, and I really want to make a review of it because it's like, I want to explain why it's so good. I want to make it, but when I get down to start scripting it, I start to not want to make it. And that happens with so many videos that I make or if I've wanted to make. Before I've talked about, I want to make a video about the claims of how, you know, how people say, oh, you're copying Aphma all the time. I've wanted to make that video, but I haven't because of what I said before. And it sucks because I already know that a lot of people wanted to actually watch that video, but I never made it and I'm probably never going to. And it sucks. And it, it, it all comes down to the fact that if it would be so much easier if all this stressful stuff that's been going on in my life w would just vanish. It'd be nice, but that, that's not how that works. Unfortunately, being in the state I am right now, and I don't, I don't even really know if I want to say it or not, but I, one of the biggest problems I'm going through right now simply comes down to the fact that I am harshly questioning my sexuality right now. And that wouldn't be a bad thing for people at all there the people just be like oh well you're gay or you're bisexual whatever it is that's not that big of a deal because the most level-headed normal people that's perfectly fine but unfortunately it's hard to say anything about it it's hard to like truly grip onto it or question it because when you live with people in your household that have both told you before that they, if they ever found out that you were gay, they would kill you? That sucks. If it, It's the most dehumanizing, shitty feeling fucking ever. It sucks. It sucks so fucking bad. But what are you going to, what do you do about it? You can't tell them. Because what are they going to do? They're obviously not going to actually kill you, but what are they going to do? You, you, what are you gonna what are you, what are you gonna do about that right you can't say anything 
And it's even worse because now I basically told all of you guys that, and now you guys have a different opinion of me. At the second I said that, you have a different opinion of how I am as a person. You did. Rather you like to pretend, or not pretend, rather you like to think that or not, you have a different opinion of how I am as a person because I said that. And now I'm putting this on the internet, that people can see, especially my friends, that they can see, <laughs> and they don't know anything about this. And I'm putting this on the internet, and it's like, what? You know, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about this right now, and it sucks. It feels terrible, right? I would love nothing more than to just take all the problems, because my sexuality isn't even the big one, honestly. It's like to take all of these problems, I would love nothing more than to crumple it up into a ball, throw it into a garbage can, and light that motherfucker on fire, but you just can't. I would love to do that just so I can make YouTube videos, just so I can play video games, just so I can sleep at night without this garbage feeling of waking up every day knowing that there are people out there who hate you and that your existence is fucking nothing because of who you are. That's the shittiest fucking feeling in the world. I hate it, and I wake up every day with that, and there's nothing I can do about it. Nothing. And you can sit here and say, PJ, simple solution, go to therapy. Okay, yeah, let's go to therapy without a driver's license. I still have a permit, okay. And I, I how in the hell, my parents are eventually going to figure this out. Why in the hell am I going to therapy? Why? You know what I mean? Why would I be doing that? They're going to have those questions. It's easier just to not do anything because if they find out or of, of any of the problems I have in my life, not just the sexuality, because like I said, there, I have worse problems. If I bring anything up about that whatsoever, they're going to be mad. They're going to be they're, they're going to be upset. You can say, PJ, they're your parents. I don't think you understand what it's like to having a far right leaning conservative parents. I don't think you know. I don't think you really feel. I don't think you know. Because like I said before, it gets to that point to where you have all of these problems. And all you want to do is just, it's not, it's, it's not even just YouTube. I just want to go outside and be happy. I just want to go on the seven week long vacation into the mountains or seven, seven week fucking idiot, seven day vacation long vacation into like the prettiest place probably in the entire fucking world. I want to go there without feeling like shit. Especially during, since during that vacation, I was with my dad the entire time and he has a lot of, I'm just gonna be honest with you, homophobic friends that just go around and say really mean, shitty things. <laughs> you know, it feels like fucking garbage. I would have loved nothing more than to be in those mountains for seven days and just take it all in. I couldn't because I was stuck in this shitstorm of thinking about YouTube, thinking about my sexuality, thinking about even if I want to live anymore. Type of bullshit. I couldn't enjoy any of it. And that happened before. I went on to another trip before with my dad, like a week before it, if you were wondering, yeah, it's a hunting trip. Same thing happened. I could take up all this scenery, but I can't. Because all this shit in my mind keeps fucking with me to where I can't. And then I think even a couple days later, I'm going to do it again. Because my dad's been like, because, you know, it's November and it's like really big for the hunting season right now. And he really, really, really wants me to go to all these things. For whatever reason it might be. And it sucks, obviously, for me, because you have, you have, you're holding in all of this information, all of this pain, I guess what it is, in your body, and you can't tell it to the person. You're basically being forced around. It sucks. It really fucking sucks. You know? And I, th I already think I repeated this a million fucking times, but I would love nothing more than just to be able to go to my landscaping job and not have to think about it, to make a YouTube video and not have to think about it, or to just do anything and not have to think about it. But I can't because it's not that simple. And I don't know how to fix that problem. I don't because I'm stuck. Like I said before, and I'll say it again, I'm in a fucking cycle of just anger and sadness and it just repeats itself over and over again. And there's nothing you can do about it. To where, to the point to where your solution to the problem is fucking making memes. It's making memes and 
playing video games and something else I, I honestly don't think I can ever actually bring myself to saying just to try to forget about all of it. But every day it gets harder as fuck. And, and it's, and this YouTube video started out with me saying why I don't upload that often. The simple, this very, very simple reason why I don't upload that often because it's really fucking hard. It's really hard to do all of these things, to juggle all of this shit. And it's probably easy for some people. In the back of my head, I'm still saying, PJ, just fucking grow up. But I can't quite do it, and I don't know why. I don't. And it sucks. This video, I think, has gone on long enough. 21 minutes. I, th I, think, I think I covered everything. I hope I covered everything. If I didn't, whatever. And if you came and watched this video up to this point... Rather be because of, of whatever it is. Thank you. I, I, I know this sounds probably really cliche, especially if you go on Twitter a lot, but the people who watch my channel, the people who I've met over the internet, the people who have still stuck with me all of this time after I don't talk to you all that often and I don't do a whole hell of a lot with you all that often, I'm a shit friend to you, all of these people, all the people who have put up with me, all of the people who have held, who have been like waiting for a review of Glenwood or um, Elytras of Zephyr or whatever it might be, thank you for thank you for putting up with me. Thank you for being in my life to a certain extent because I know this is gonna sound really bad and uh, really harsh, but. You're the reason why I choose to live every day. Why I haven't just went and stopped, basically. To keep it as un-PG as possible. Or un-PG, un unrated R as possible. That's what I'm trying to get at here. Thank you. This video's gone on for a long time. Sorry I had to put you through it. Next video on my channel, I hope, is going to be the legacy of Glenwood Prep. Thank you for watching.